Hello and welcome. My name is Alan and then today I'm going to talk a little bit about professional wrestling. If you followed my videos, I've talked about it twice on here, how I used to follow it quite seriously when I was a younger child up through the mid-2000s, mid to late 2000s, and then I kind of fell off, especially after the death of Chris Benoit, which, who was my favorite wrestler at that point, and it just... It hurt a lot. But. I've been watching a lot of. Wrestling. Lately. I don't have TNT. So I can't watch. A&W. A-E-W. Dynamite. Although I do watch A-E-W. Dark and Being the Elite. Uh, there hasn't been any NWA power on, but I've been watching the NWA replays over the last few years. Recently. And I've even been watching um, Ring of Honor here recently. Since they are on their 18th anniversary. Some interesting um, stuff. To be honest with you, I've even been watching... I don't think any of the actual matches, but... Some of the interesting... Um, entrances and... Storylines from TNA. Um, that they've had in the past. I still haven't really sat down and watched any new WWE for a while. Maybe I will. Who knows? It's been a while since I have. So that's a possibility. But also, I've been watching a lot of NWA WCW from the 80s. Online. We're talking back in the days of the Horseman and Hands of Stone, Ronnie Garvin, the Wyndham, Barry Wyndham, um, Sting, Powers of Pain, uh, Road Warriors, Dusty Roads. It's pretty crazy. It really takes me back. To my days as a kid watching wrestling. Because like I said. I remember. Watching wrestling. From back then. Because my dad was really big into watching wrestling. And my grandfather too. I've even, not recently, but in the, a few months back, I was watching, um, I think the channel's Beyond Wrestling, where you see all the fans lined up around the ring. They're not like sitting down, but they're standing just outside the ring. And you have... 
all kinds of uh, AEW stars. I've been watching a lot of MLW too. It's become one of my more common um, components to watch. Right now, my most common is I watch MLW, AEW Dark, NWA, um, I would say that's about it. As far as the ones I really watch on a consistent basis. But anyway, what I want to try to get to is I might start doing some profiles of some of the old school wrestlers, the, the old school stars. And uh, talk a bit about like some of the old school stables, old school champs. <clears throat> like one in particular. I've been thinking of do, doing recently is the Four Horsemen. You know, uh, Ric Flair, Arn Anderson, Tully Blanchard, and Ole Anderson. With J.J. Dillon as manager. We might... Also include mention of the later reincarnations or members because in time it does go through quite a few members, unfortunately, as it starts to decline. Because in its heyday, you aren't, you weren't going to stop the horsemen. They would always hold a title or two, if not more. But yeah. And just talk about the group. Maybe go into a little bit of information about who they are. Because even though there is an Arn Anderson and an Ole Anderson. Arn Anderson isn't. His real name isn't Arn Anderson. Or at least that wasn't the name he was born with. I don't know if he's fully changed it or not. Because... That's always the character he's played since he's wrestled, since he's managed, you know, all, uh, since he's been in the wrestling business, shall we say. Except for maybe like the first few years, he had a different name, but because he had a resemblance to... Um, the Andersons, Gene and Ole Anderson, they named him Arn Anderson to kind of connect them with that group. But yeah, I, I might go into things like that. Talk just a little bit about their history. Who they are. 
I'll also talk about other groups, Legion of Doom, Road Warriors. I'll talk about um, Sting being a part, originally partnered with um, the Ultimate Warrior as the Blade Runners early, early, early on in his career. But yeah, stuff like that. Some of these interesting topics. But I just wanted to give you all notice of some other stuff I'm thinking about adding along here. I'm still working on my um, analyses of Fallout 3's opening I'm working on. I've got to work on um, Members of Congress episode 19. But yeah. Just want to tell you about some of the wrestling videos I'll probably be working on. As always, educate thyself. Think, read, study, learn. If someone tries to proclaim something that's a little far from the truth, or you feel it's a little far from the truth, ask them to cite their sources. We need to start demanding proof. Anyway, I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, later.